Hello everyone, I am Al Hamid and this is the Zoom Bit tutorial series. Together we have taught the Zoom Bit many tricks and he has learned them one by one. Let's now train him to juggle them all by switching from one mode to another. So, with your guidebook, come and join me to chapter 9. Here we will bring all what we have learned in one project. We will teach Zombit to change the modes. So basically we have three modes. The first one is the manual mode. The other is obstacle avoidance mode and line following mode. First thing, create a new project and add the Zombit extension. Then we will begin by creating the code for the manual mode first. If you are using Microbit V1, exclude this music block. Now let's add the other modes. To do that, we are going to use functions. So let's move to the right side and click on advance. All right. And then go to the functions category. Make a new function and call it obstacle avoidance. Now let's continue to build the code for obstacle avoidance mode by adding these blocks. Alright, so notice here the code is similar to what you have built in chapter 7. However, here the blocks are in function obstacle avoidance instead of forever block previously. You can collapse this block by clicking on this icon. Now let's make another function for line following mode and build the code into it. Alright, so as you may notice, this code is similar to what you have built in chapter 8. 
However, here the blocks are in function line following instead of forever block. Remember that you will need to create a position variable. If you are not sure how to do that, please watch the previous tutorial of chapter 8. I will leave the link in the description below. Next, we are going to add modes variable to our program so we can change from one mode to another. Zombit will automatically do the corresponding task which we assign to that particular mode. So let's make the variable first. Alright, so this is the completed code. Let's have a closer look on it. Initially, the mode variable will be set to zero, and that means we will be having the manual mode. If we press the logo on micro bit, the value of the variable will be changed by one. And once that happens, we will be calling the function of obstacle avoidance. And also, the heart icon will be displayed on the micro bit. If we press again the logo of micro bit, the value of the variable will be changed to be 2. And once that happens, we will be calling the function of the line following mode. And this square icon will be displayed on the micro bit. And if we press on the logo for one more time, the variable will be set to 0 and we will go back to the manual mode and the car image will be displayed on the LED. Just remember if you are using microbed v1, replace this block with logo down block. Alright, so now let's download the code and try it out. Great job! Now you can bring your robot car whenever you go and show off the tricks it can do to your friends. Let's have a quick recap on the code that we built. On start block, play sound hello, display a smiley face, and turn on both headlights with head facing front. And after that, set the variable mode to zero. On the forever block, always check the mode variable. If mode is one, run obstacle avoidance function. Else if mode is 2, then run line following function. On logo pressed, change mode by 1. And then stop moving and display the icon for the current mode. When the mode is 0, we will have a car icon. When the mode is 1, we will have a heart icon. And when the mode is 2, we will have the square icon. If mode is neither 1 nor 2, then set mode to 0. Alright, moving to the other blocks. On button A pressed, turn right. On button B pressed, turn left. 
on buttons A and B pressed, move forward. Alright, so you have brought all what you have learned in the previous chapters in one project. Good job! If you need any assistance, you may join us in the Telegram group. We will be there to guide you. And now, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And see you again in the upcoming last video of this series. Stay tuned and happy learning!